Hello, how are you? I'm so excited to be here. My name is Cora Scott and I work with the Brandywine School District. So I'm here today to read a story to you. It's called The Day You Begin and it's written by Jacqueline Woodson and illustrated by Rafael Lopez. And so let's look and listen to hear what it means when they say the day you begin. I see a little girl in the picture. She's on her uh, balcony looking at a book. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you. Maybe it will be your skin, your clothes, or the curl of your hair. There will be times when no one understands the way words curl from your mouth, the beautiful language of the country you left behind. My name is Roberto. We just moved here from Venezuela. And because they don't understand, the classroom will fill with laughter until the teacher quiets everyone. Roberto from Venezuela, your teacher says so soft and beautifully that your name and homeland sound like flowers blooming from the first bright notes of a song. There will be times when the words don't come. Your own voice, once huge, now smaller. When the teacher asks, what did you do last summer? Tell the class your story. Oh, wow. So I can see in that picture the little girl sitting on the ground. She looks like she might be feeling a little sad. And the other students seem happy and excited and they're showing different things. Hmm. I wonder what they're sharing and showing. Let's keep reading. We went to France, Chayla says. These shells come from a beach in Maine. A boy named Jonathan holds out a jar filled with tiny shells so fragile they look like they'll turn to dust in your own untraveled hands. My whole family went to India, Spain, South Carolina, each souvenir a small triumph of a journey, their travels going on and on. Okay, so it sounds like the kids that are happy and showing things went places and they traveled. I'm wondering if the little girl in the picture didn't get a chance to travel. Let's see. And as you stand in front of that room, you can only remember how the heat waved as it lifted off the curb and your days spent at home caring for your little sister who made you laugh out loud and hugged you hard at nap time. You can only remember the books you kept on reading long after she had fallen asleep. And in that room where no one else is quite like you, you'll look down at your own empty hands and wonder, what good is this when other students were flying and sailing and going somewhere? Ah, oh, so look at the picture. She looks pretty sad, but this actually makes me happy because I can remember being home in the summer with my sister and reading books together. And we did laugh and we did have fun. So I see that she's looking sad, but it does give me happy memories. There will be times when the lunch your mother packed for you is too strange or too unfamiliar for others to love as you do. When even your own friend Naja will wrinkle her nose and say, what's in there anyway? And you'll wonder how she doesn't see the rice beneath the meat and kimchi. You'll wonder why she doesn't remember that rice is the most popular food in the world. There will be times when the climbing bars are too high, the run is too fast and far, the game isn't one you will ever really play. I don't want him on our team you can watch. Maybe you can have a turn later. Mm, so look at the kids that are on the monkey bars and they're laughing and smiling and running. And then the little boy who's sitting against the tree, he doesn't look like he's having so much fun. I wonder how he's feeling when his friends are saying, we don't want you on our team. That doesn't sound like that would make him feel so good. Let's keep reading. 
There will be times when the world feels like a place that you're standing all the way outside of. And so he's over there all by himself while other kids are playing. And all that stands beside you is your own brave self, steady as steel and ready, even though you don't yet know what you're ready for. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you until the day you begin to share your stories. My name is Angelina and I spent my whole summer with my little sister. You tell the class your voice stronger than it was a minute ago, reading books and telling stories. And even though you were right on your block, it was like we got to go everywhere. So look at that picture. I see the books flying and looks like the girls are flying. So are they traveling? Hmm, maybe, maybe through the books that they read. Your name is like my sister's, Roberto says. Her name is Angelina too. And all at once in the room where no one else is quite like you, the world opens itself up a little wider to make some space for you. This is the day you begin to find the place inside your laughter and your lunches, your books, your travel, and your stories, where every new friend has something a little like you and something else so fabulously not quite like you at all. So look at the kids on the swing. So they are happy and they got to share their different stories. And so it's really nice to have things like your friends things that may be the same or similar, but it's also good to have a lot of things that are different and that's what makes everybody so special. And remember to always share your story so that people get to know you and all the wonderful things there are about you. So thank you so much for reading this story with me. I hope you enjoyed it. You have a